What's going on guys, e Pacmans is back with another Fortnite video and today we will be looking at the very last week of Season 8, Week 10. Oh my gosh, we made it guys, this is the last week and it's crazy to think that my life on YouTube literally changed here on Season 8 because you know, once I uploaded my first video, Week 1, Season 8, that's when Things started getting crazy, started getting thousands of views, you know, thank you again for all the support and for those that aren't subscribed already, what are you guys doing? Hit that subscribe button and also make sure to hit that bell button so you don't miss out on any future posts like this one. And then just before we get into the challenges, even though I'm previewing them here, I do want to go to the item shop, even though, well maybe not the item shop because he's not in there anymore, but I was able to get Star Lord, as you guys can see here. And Star Lord is the second. He's the second Avenger that is released. So he's part of the Guardians of the Galaxy. If you guys don't know, I was able to get him. And then I say second only to the one and only Black Widow. So I was able to get both of them. And I was able to do it with my supporter creator code. So make sure you guys have that if you support me I would really appreciate it and make sure to retype it in because it does expire after 14 days so it's epacmans all capitalized I would really appreciate it guys but let's get on to what we're actually here for we're here for season 8 week 10 so let's see what week 10 has to offer first we have to launch through flaming hoops with the cannon so I'm guessing three just because it says zero out of three all right and then stage one of three, harvest wood in a single match, 500 wood, easy peasy. Then eliminate opponents at tilted towers of the block, that's interesting, I like that one. Then deal damage with an infantry rifle or heavy assault rifle. Um, I think that heavy assault would be the easiest and I would probably do that in Team Rumble. If Team Rumble's still available, we'll check after this. And stage one of two, search the treasure map, signpost found in Junk Junction. Okay, deal damage with within tens, 10 seconds, I believe, of landing after using a volcano vent. Okay, that's interesting. It might be a little tougher just because you need an opponent to be by the volcano vent, so we'll see how that one goes. And then the last one, eliminate an opponent from closer than five meters away. Easy peasy if you do it in Team Rumble. So now I'm gonna quickly update you guys. I am tier 94, about to be tier 95. I should be tier 100 by the end of this video. That's the goal. Um, and then I want to unlock this Hoop Master. So I should be tier 100 and get to unlock the Flux. We'll see how this goes. Alright, looks like we do have Team Rumble still. And then we also still have Endgame. I will be doing an Endgame Challenges Part 2 video here soon. They'll probably release on maybe Sunday, Monday. So stay tuned for that. Okay guys, enemy territory is the block. Or even Tilted Towers, actually. I might go to Tilted Towers just because it's closer. Maybe we can get some Elims there. We need three of them. Just depends on if people land over there, but we'll see. It's actually my buddy that's up here. Okay, so we're working on the wood, and then since there are pallets here, I would recommend landing somewhere where there's pallets. That's the easiest way to get wood, as you guys know. Oh, I actually did get the, the wood right there, so it was literally that easy, guys. Just go get some pallets and... I guess since the circle is over there, where it is at Sunny Steps. Oh, look! Oh, I did get an Elim. What do you know? There we go. That was uh, very unexpected. I didn't even shoot at him properly. Okay, let's see. We're here by the volcano. I'm gonna try to find a van and try to find somebody. I'm assuming this challenge won't be too difficult since this is Team Rumble. Okay, we got two people here. Let's see if I can do something. Dude, I didn't do it. That's already more than 10 seconds. Oh, man. 
I can get this guy. Oh, I did. Well, there's one. That's okay. Cool. I got both of them. So my aim is horrible. I got some damage on him. And then he ended up eliminating me. There's damage right there, straight to the dome. There's a heavy AR. So I guess what we could do guys is harvest stone. I mean... This is all stone so we might as well. There's a healing right there. Another, ignore the assault rifle eliminations, those are just my daily challenges. But I did get the 500 damage with the heavy assault right there. So let's just work on the stone and let's get out of here honestly. There's the official credit. I hate how I always get credit and then I just get eliminated. But whatever, okay. I got I got that challenge, I got the AR the heavy AR challenge done. Yeah, and like I said, stage three three harvest metal in a single match. So I guess we're gonna go straight to junk junction, find this signpost, and then just start harvesting metal. Got two challenges out of the way. And then I think the launch through flaming hooves might be a little tough. I tried it the last game. And it was a lot tougher than what I had anticipated. But uh, we'll go ahead, we'll try it eventually, but we're going to go ahead and do the Harvest Metal in a single match, landing at Junk Junction after finding the signpost. So this signpost is going to be somewhere around here. It's going to be a perfect drop as well for me. Okay, you guys see the signposts right there? And we just gotta search it here so I'll zoom in on the map literally right there and you guys will find the signpost and then metal next to it so remember to leave these two challenges together so you can knock them both out and that should do it guys 300 metal in a single match. Piece of cake. So now we have to follow the treasure map signpost in Junk Junction. So I will show you guys where that is here in a sec. So this is just north of Fatal Fields, right over here. And it should be, I think, somewhere right here. Here it is guys. Okay guys, I think what I'm gonna work on now is launching myself through the hoop. Which I could have done last game since I landed over here, but it's whatever. So some guy try to use this cannon to launch himself through. I'm gonna go see if it worked. Dude, I got I got it literally perfect. Wow, I am you know to be to say surprised that'd be an understatement. I'm actually shocked that this worked in my first try. Let's see. Let's 
go over here. Let's see if we can get lucky somewhere. You gotta aim it a little higher than what you'd normally think because of the drop. Let's go like right there. Let's try it. Oh, you guys, you, oh my gosh. Did you guys see what I'm talking about? Like I basically went through that, which I kind of did. Oh man, and I still don't get credit even for that. Get the exact uh, match, so to speak, just so we can go through it, the ring exactly. Let's see. Let's try this one. I have a good feeling this one will work. Yes, it did. Thank God. Because this challenge is awful. And off camera, I tried this this ring earlier and oh my gosh it turned out to be so much chaos because of a bunch of people enemies too they came over here and then they were just destroying the cannons they were destroying the platforms everything but before that actually i missed it by a hair just a hair and it sucks because you can't even miss it by a hair you have to get it directly through the uh, ring otherwise it's not going to count so that's what's so tough about this challenge Okay, let's see. Let's see if we get it on our first try on camera. And that's what I'm talking about, guys. We missed it by a hair. And then this guy keeps missing it too, so I'm not the only one. Let's see this time. Oh, we got it! Yes! It's about freaking time. That took me literally 20 tries to do. That is, they're tough, guys, so be persistent. Don't quit. There's two right there. Back to back. Thank God. Got that challenge out of the way finally. Okay, we have finally made it to tier 100. Look at that. We got the Lux challenges as well. But here we are. This is the week 10 loading screen. I think this loading screen is dope because you're looking at a preview of what's to come essentially and I have no idea what's to come but there's the preview right there. It's gonna be in Loot Lake. Oh we got an enemy. So I'm gonna get this weapon right here. This is a quick pistol. And yep it's right there. Let's see if I can search it. There we go. That is the week 10 loading screen guys. And that is it for week 10. Oh, Marshmallow guy, come on. Anyways, that is it for week 10. I hope you all enjoyed as usual. And if you did, make sure to drop a like down below. And also make sure to subscribe if you are new. And hit that bell button so you don't miss out on any future posts like this one. Thank you guys for an amazing season 8. Like I said in the beginning of this video, this is what's got me started, honestly. Um, this is what got me thousands and thousands of views. I thank you all. This is what's got me over a thousand subscribers at the moment. Thank you for that. And I just really appreciate you guys. So thank you. Continue showing support. It does not go unnoticed, believe me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And in the future, I will not be able to post Thursdays. If the challenges for Season 9 continue to be on Thursdays, I probably won't be able to post Thursdays anymore because 
I am starting a new job and so I will actually even be moving from where I live. It's an internship for the summer that I got. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, I probably will be posting as soon as, as early as Friday. So it might be a, a day late, but I hope you guys continue to support. And if you do, I really appreciate it. But yeah, other than that, guys, it's week 10 for you guys. I hope you all did enjoy. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.